Now students, um, I have been working in the background here and I've kind of finished off uh, with the cladding. Still a few things too, and I'm going to show you uh, those there, but this is how it's looking for me. So you can see over here, um, I put in the uh, precast concrete cladding units there. I've got uh, some curtain walling going on here. Same over here, curtain walling there. If I come around the corner to that east elevation, I think it is, you can see I've got some cladding units there and a little bit of curtain walling happening there. Come around the back and I've got uh, straightforward um, precast units there. And over here, I've got precast units coming in here. Okay. Now, uh, the kind of final things that I need to do here are, one, I need to take care of the corners, right? So what's happening there. And uh, I need to clad this uh, bare concrete here. And I'm going to use a, a king span panel that will sit on a subframe to do that. So I will be doing another video uh, which I'll do the corners and I'll do uh, this here as well. If I go into a section, now you can see that I have stood the uh, curtain walling well off um, uh, the building here. So it can be brought in a little bit tighter. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, let's get into fine detail here. So I can bring it in a little bit tighter. You can see my neoprene strip there. Uh, that's worked out quite well. So if I select the whole um, of the curtain walling, um, you can see that I can actually move this uh, like so, move it in a little bit tighter. I think what's going to happen here is that um, obviously you'll have a fixing uh, as Pierce has shown uh, with some of the sketches and some of the photographs you took on your site visit. You have fixing coming from under here into the panel or on top into the panel, something like that. This area here will have to have a fire break in it as well. So that kind of uh, detail um, needs to be worked up. But uh, all you need to do is pick uh, the curtain wall, central curtain wall, and using your arrow keys, you can move that into place there. Similarly with this one here as well. Okay. And then um, as to exactly what's going to happen here, not 100% sure as yet. Um, so if we move it in tighter, uh, again, we might be able to put a piece on top of that um, uh, upstand there. I might cast in a piece here and let that sit down on top of it or something like that. There's plenty of solutions for that as well. Um, and then if I come down to my sheets down here, because we had the sheets started, here's my elevations. You can see they're not looking too bad now. All right. Um, I put in a little bit of shadow into these. I think it's necessary for these to give them a little bit of brightness here. Um, you can as well um, tone down the blue if that's what you want to do. It's curtain wall uh, material uh, that's in there. But that's not looking too bad. Uh, our sections now have our cladding uh, on them here as well. And look at that long section. Um, it's going through here. I might uh, move that long section actually into the building, have it out a little bit far. Oh, do you know what? There's a reason why I can't see that long section. If I change this to one is to 100, I bet you the, I bet you the section will come up. There it is. Look. So what's happening there is that that section is not showing at, um, that particular scale. That's just basically what's happening there. So I'll put it in here now. I better change that back to one is to 200. You can see it's, um, <coughs> disappeared again. It's controlled by the properties over here. You can find that that's uh, pretty simple to do. Let's go back into that uh, uh, that long section there. Okay, so you can see we're seeing the back of the panels there now. And uh, we've got our staircases and our lift shafts. There's our toilet areas there. Got some cubicles in there, got the lift 
uh, stairs there coming up from the basement and we're in here as well so pretty good i'm quite happy with that yeah let's turn on some uh, shadows and that ah yuck okay so let's go back into the building section sheet and there's that building section there again a scale of one is to 200 uh plans okay and again we've got our cladding on here and uh, that's our basement so it's going to plans too and i've not added the extra plans in here we've got our cladding going on in there so um the last thing that i really have to do here uh, as i said is uh, put some cladding on that I just a couple of little techniques i'm going to show you to do that and then uh, we're going to put in a corner here um and that might be a precast concrete or um something like that i haven't decided what way to go about that as yet okay 